Hey, good morning, Scrap for Cash Army. It's Tuesday morning. And much like most things in my life, poet, as he said it best, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. And here we are. And I realize it's, you know, it's raining outside, but it, it's just a matter of slowing down, paying attention, driving a little bit more defensively than offensively. but it never fails. I don't think people understand rain on a road makes it wet and then a wet road becomes slick. And when you rush on a wet, slick road, bad things can happen. So I really don't know if there's any solution to the problem. I mean, you can train people how to drive on wet roads, but even seasoned drivers, and by seasoned, I mean people that are have 10, 15 years under their belts driving, and I see it day in, day out. Nobody, they just don't think it's going to happen. Well, the main thing is people are idiots. Now, that's really the main thing. And I can say that with 100% certainty because I have seen them do it. I generally know the limitations of my mechanical machines, how far to push them, how far not to push them. But most of all that is determined by weather conditions. If there's a lot of snow outside, I don't speed. If there's a wet road, I try to keep it under a speed that I'm able to control the vehicle. Because I don't like sitting in that. And then you're here for 45 minutes or an hour moving up five feet stopping moving up five feet stopping while you're waiting for some tow truck to drag some Richard off the road that's caused this so I guess the the, the whole point of what I'm saying for scrap for cash driving tips if you can't drive Stay off the goddamn roads. Asshole. Well, I'm still here. On the road. I'm going so slow, the speedometer won't even register one mile an hour. It's just... It's just lovely. Just lovely. That guy's license plate is 308 X-Ray Zebra Young. 308. So he bats 308. He likes x rays and zebras, and he likes to play with his yo yo. That license plate is 3213769. I have no idea what the hell that guy does. Hey, maybe he's an accountant. You ever wonder why nobody writes graffiti on the walls along the interstate? 
I mean, you could pull over and probably do it from your car window. You could just sit here and just move along and, you know, write scrapped for cash rules. And you do rules with a Z so you sound hip. Speaking of hip, my hip hurts. I've been sitting in traffic for like, I don't know, three days, four days. I saw a roach coach come by. He saw an opportunity to make some money. I've never done mushrooms, but if I could find one right now, I would eat the shit out of it. I feel like I'm losing my mind slowly. Like at the speed of smell. I got a comment from somebody that said, you've been doing this like a really long time and you don't have a box truck with a lift gate or a winch with ramps to load your that, that stuff on your truck. So I went to find his channel because obviously He's doing better scrap than I am if he's got a box truck with a lift gate and a winch and ramps. And... Turns out him and a, and, a, and, a, and a lovely young man have a florist shop somewhere in New Hampshire. They seem like nice people. I think the Calvary has finally arrived somewhere probably five miles down the road I should follow him you think you'd be mad if I followed him how much you want to bet there's another wreck in this stop and go traffic what do you think uh, and I'm not promoting violence by no means if this was a just a terrible accident and okay I don't know if y'all heard that or not but that was a tractor trailer hitting another tractor trailer by me apparently they're not paying attention but as I was saying if somebody got hurt Godspeed hope they get better if somebody was doing something they shouldn't do and ended up crashing and nobody's hurt then I would promote them having to lean over that wall right there and three or four people be able to get out of their cars with their tire tools and beat them about the ass. Not to where they're, you know, maiming them, but teaching them a, a, a lesson about driving in the, you know, rain. And yes, that may sound awful, but that's just the way it is. That guy's picking up a vehicle. It's probably been sitting there so long it broke. Oh, it's a Ford F-150. I guarantee it's broke. He was stuck on the side of the road. We've got him picked up now. Look there. A Ford in its natural environment. On the back of a tow truck. How about that? You know, you can find comedy everywhere if you just look for it. Like DCI. On the back of that truck says DCI. What do y'all reckon that stands for? It's C's in the middle, so C is obviously the priority word. So let's call it CDI. What do you think that stands for? Think about it. I'm going to say the last word is intercourse, and you all take it from there. Is it possible to OD on a set of minifin? Because I'm, 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 I'm willing to take a chance. It'll work. I've been behind this guy for so long. I feel like we ought to have a barbecue together or something. Maybe have a book night. Maybe we could go bowling. I wonder if he likes to go bowling. Maybe I should go up here and ask him. You know. 
can see the limited number of cars that are going by in the other lane. I made eye contact with that guy in that van. He flipped me off and laughed. He was laughing. I don't, I don't understand why people have to be assholes. Can't we all strive just to be nice to each other? I, I think he's laughing at my pain. I'm losing my mind, people. Well, the wheels on the truck go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the truck go round and round. Somebody come and shoot me. Shit! I don't, I, I don't know if you all have that business in your area, but there is a bunch of trucks that run around my area, my neck of the woods. And the name of that company is DeBraw Kumpel. And it got me thinking, was that a German guy that started that company? And he's out with a woman, they meets at a bar, and they talk about their life experiences together over some Blanton's bourbon. They're just having a good old time, and they decide, hey, I like you, you like me. Let's go back to Tom Modell's place of business and we'll turn that light off that he leaves on and we'll just have us a good old time. And then when they get there in that room and you know things start heating up and he starts taking clothes off and throwing them around, she starts taking his clothes off and throwing them around and then she looks at him and says, hey, wait a minute now, that, that brawl, that came from Victoria's Secret. You don't throw that in the floor, it'll crumple. And he looks at her and says, DeBraw Kumpel? Hey, wait a minute. That truck says Visa Equipment. It's rent and leases, dry vans, reefers, and flatbeds. Reefers. I didn't know you could rent those. Hey, I just saw a priest come by. He's offering last rites to people. Just in case, you know, you've had enough. And we're stopping again. All right, you're gonna finally be able to get to see what I'm gonna say probably has caused all this. Cash Army, this has been an odyssey. Just to even get to the point that I'm at now, which is probably 15 miles from a scrapyard. <coughs> it's it's going to be non-stop rain. I'm going to film best I can. I'm going to try to remember to, you know, unload and then try to wipe the lens and unload wipe the lens it's just it, it, the, the view is going to be what it's going to be uh, I, I've got I'm in old red which is just a load of scrap and it's a big load but it's a load of scrap so my plan is to dump this get back to the barn load up the scrap that I've got sitting in the driveway and then I'm probably going to set this one aside get Black Betty because that's that's a big load of rotors and scrap dump it come back get Sammy because that's a load of scrap as well I don't know which one of the two I'm going to use for non-ferrous but I've got a selection of wire here from yesterday that I'm going to add from the wire that I've got Sunday so I've got a little bit of copper 
some wire, two rims, and that big compressor that I pulled out of a dumpster last night that videoed some best I could. It got dark. I'm going to video what I can today. I just obviously don't want to have GoPro stuck out with a downpour and that's may and that may be what it is I've been stuck on the highway for like two and a half hours today buddy you don't want to mess with me let's get to the scrapyard and see what happens oh this is gonna be a lovely day of unloading I, I don't know that you're I'm gonna be able to record much of anything I think you're gonna see what I have to unload and then I'm gonna put you away. It's gonna be short unloading videos, which hell y'all may like that. I don't know. Unloading seems kind of boring. It's the getting paid of the money. That's exciting. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna be wet after all this. But hey, scrapping life. Well, finally, the rock has come back to Cohen. I am making the turn in a cold, rainy winter day. We'll get this thing unloaded just as fast as humanly possible. It's about 10, 10. So it's taken me about four hours to get here. I really don't anticipate there being a lot more idiots out here other than me. So this ought to be pretty easy unload and get on down the highway. First chance to uh, look at the weight. And we're over a thousand pounds. Get moving. Dad, what are you doing, buddy? Other than getting wet. That's it. It's bullshit, man. Yeah. Need just some place we all go where you can get out of the damn weather. At least it's letting me write your ticket. It ain't, it ain't been working out for me today. Yeah, it's good. I don't want to write in the rain. Go figure. It don't want to write in the rain. This is going to be your view, I think, for the most part. Kind of disappeared on me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, anywhere? Yeah, just nowhere by that truck, I guess, somewhere. All right. Let's strap over Shar. <coughs> Stay with me. Best you can, fellas. That's all I can tell you. Oh, 
my pants. Really? Tell you what, you both go. That's pretty much it. What did I say? It was like 1010 10, maybe. I think that's what I said when I pulled in. 10 after 10 or 1015, it's 1031. I've already dumped. I've already weighed in, dumped, got paid. Weighed in, dumped, weighed out, got paid, and now I'm leaving. I'm going to stick to my original plan 
I've got four or five big things to put on this truck when I get back to the barn and hopefully that goes smoothly and I can set this one off to the side and I think it, I'm going to bring Black Betty because that's going to be the I think that's going to be the hardest one of all that's rotors on top of rotors on top of rotors and then scrap so I'll be back as long as the GoPro holds up I'm going to tell you one thing folks I ain't afraid to say it these are some brutal weather conditions to be scrapping in But I ain't scared. I'm wet, but I ain't scared. <coughs> Close the door. I'm a drowned rat, man. Shit. Why is my seat wet? This fucking seat is soaked. Uh. I don't think it's the seat, I think it's me. Well, the reason I got wet, all that stuff that was in the driveway is now back on old red. I'm gonna have to put a strap on that when I go to the scrapyard. But for now, let's get Sammy Hagar and this, this massive load unloaded, shall we? Sorry, sorry, I already made the turn to the scrapyard. You didn't get to see it. I know that's the highlight of the scrapping episode. But I'm here with Sammy. Sammy, I can't drive 55 unless I'm loaded down with 2,000 pounds. So we're gonna go inside first. I got wire, some stainless, a big ass compressor, and two aluminum wheels. And then, and I'm telling you, Sammy is looking forward to this. I can get some of this weight off his back because it's killing him. Guarantee you, it's killing him. What up, wild man? You don't want to open you don't want to open that. I mean them rotors may come cascade now there. And that's all I got. Down, brother.
that's it. Now I get to go to the rotor field. Oh, that's always fun. Today, you definitely got the better job. <laughs> you ain't outside. Hey, I ain't no dummy. See you, brother. Ethan is all right, my book. He's in my cool book, and there are very damn few people that's in my cool book. But Ethan is one of them. Grab me off the edge, and I'm gonna put him right up in there. unload what little I got left here. Hey, you already been here once, guys. Oh, you're going to see me again, what too. Today, guys? I tried to get her to go. She said it's too wet. Yeah. I said, well. Stay off, huh? Yeah. I got to give her some time off every now and then. They get cranky. <laughs> yeah, no, no winning that battle. No, no, <laughs> nobody. Absolutely not. Try all you want. You'll you can try. You ain't gonna win. Y'all grab onto everything. <laughs> hey, who?
pretty cool right there, man. Who feels happy right now? That's Sammy. He is riding like a new truck. Got that weight off of him. Well, that's truck number two. Now let's go get truck number three. Damn it! I did it again. I think we didn't make. We made the turn already. You know, I just just pretend like you saw it. We're making the turn into the scrapyard. Not really, but it's a turn, but I'm already in the scrapyard. All right, let's see what this thing weighs out at. Get it unloaded, get back to the barn, and do it one more time, shall we? Let's see. Not a terrible amount of weight. I mean, it's not, you know, 1,500 pounds, but it's something. It'd be the one sitting at the house. Yeah. JJR 1447 JJR 1447 You'd be glad this day's over with dry out. Thank you, my friend. Well, let's unload her, shall we?
gets caught up on something. You're in the goddamn way, dude. Idiots. Explain that to me. Kidding me. you block the, the whole entrance to get out why would you do that I'll tell you tell you what because you're a fucking idiot well scrap cash army in the day of scrapyard runs scrapyard number run number three is in the books I'm gonna go pick up 
run number four then we'll do a weigh and pay at the end so you all can see what all this brought and then I'm gonna hit the couch and I ain't moving unless I see some scrap on the way back be back soon I'm trying to race him I don't know that if he's into it or not but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens he's pulling ahead of me right now I think I can close the gap here a little bit well now I got somebody in my damn lane here so coming up on him see if we can see the big K9 unit I went through the yellow you went through red buddy that was red right there he's right there I just hit myself in the head. Well, not a good place to be stopped at. I'm on the railroad track here, people. I guess I'll just sit here, hope no train comes. We are getting ready to make the turn to the scrapyard for the final time, the fourth and final time. Don't even get out of my way. So this is just a very small scrap dump, unclean sheet as they call it, the business. And then that's it for me, I'm done. Thank goodness. I can get out of here. Seems like I've lived out here today. I haven't come across any musical celebrities today. Uh, let's see if we can guess here. It's about 500 pounds. About 500. I'm going to say 500. I think it's 500. The mess. I've seen you more than I've seen her today. <laughs> that a good thing? That's a damn good thing. make money with you I get aggravation with her yeah money's always she usually helps you make the money though yeah she does quit taking up for huh quit taking up for <laughs> you guys know how to make it don't you man we gotta get it you gotta get after it man you have to but if I'm not working my a job I'm working this job Huh? If I don't work the A job, I work this job. You gotta do it. You gotta get after it. I don't think it wants to come apart. All right. I'll figure it out. Thank you, brother. Uh, you got a giant coat sitting right here, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to throw it in the bed, it didn't make it. That I just ran over, probably. No, you didn't. 
just missed it. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. That's it, man. It's time for the weigh and pay. So, we're going to do these in the order in which they went. Are you ready? All right, the first load was the, it was Old Red, which I'm in now. That's the load that I picked up last night in Lexington. That was just scrap. That came out to 980 pounds. At 190 a net ton, it paid $93.10. The second load was Sammy. That we did a commercial run and I had some scrap on it and then I had some non ferrous stuff. So let's go over that one. I had six pounds of breakage aluminum for thir at 13 cents a pound for 78 cents. We had 600 pounds of cast iron, uh, 210 a ton, a net ton. That paid 168. Uh, that compressor that I found in Lexington, uh, 49 pounds at 11 cents a pound, paid $5.39. 
I had 580 pounds of unclean sheet on the truck at 190 a net ton for 55.10. Five pounds of stainless came out of a dumpster in Lexington for $1.70. At, that's 34 cents a pound. The two aluminum wheels I had, they were 45 pounds at 55 cents a pound. Paid 24.75 and 21 pounds of number one insulated wire at $1.35 a pound for $28.35 for a grand total $284.07. Sammy. Now, uh, when I got done with Old Red the first time, I went back and unloaded everything that was in the driveway and put it in Old Red. So when I got done with Sammy, I took it back and then I jumped in Black Betty. Black Betty. That was our Sunday run up here. 760 pounds, 190 a net ton for $72.20. And then uh, went back. The last one is what I'm in right now, Old Red. That was all the stuff that was in the driveway. That came out to 780 pounds. That stuff got picked up in Lexington on a Lexington run. 190 a net ton for $74.10 for a grand total, by my calculation, is $523.47 on one day at the scrapyard. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to shop smart, shop dumpster smart. Anybody is looking for a nice little friendship shopping smart bracelet just uh you know let me know maybe i'll send one your way uh don't forget to like share subscribe please subscribe I i'm trying my best to get to 2,000 subscribers i see some of these other channels and they've they've got way more subscribers than i do and i think my content's better than a lot of them but what do i know but yeah, if you don't mind, subscribe. I, I appreciate the hell out of the views. The views are going up. And that's really the main thing. I mean, y'all are watching. But uh, I would like to have 2,000 subscribers. And I'm not that far away. So if it ain't asking for too much, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't, if you don't like scrapping and you just come across my channel, before you leave, just subscribe. It ain't like it cost you anything. Have a great day, guys. Appreciate you all hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm wore out, but it's a good wore out. You know, that means you, I've, I've had a hard day's work and there ain't a damn thing wrong with a hard day's work. See y'all. Oh.